Welcome to this tutorial on incompressible flow over finite wings. In this tutorial, we will be discussing the characteristics of incompressible flow over finite wings that include downwash velocity and induced drag, vortex filament theory, by its Savart laws and Helmholtz theorem and Prandtl's classical lifting line theory. Today, we're going to be talking about three, three important concepts in fluid dynamics, the vortex filament, the Byatz of Art law, and Helmholtz theorem. Vortex filament is the result of a vortex flow at a specific point. The strength of the vortex flow determines the induced velocity and eventually leads to the formation of a vortex filament. The vortex filament is a mathematical representation of a fluid flow that is swirling and spinning around a central axis. It can be represented by the following formula. d gamma is equals to gamma of r times ds where d gamma is the infinitesimal element of the vortex line and gamma of r is the circulation around the vortex line. Vortex filament can be described mathematically using a representing formula, which takes into account the strength, number, and distribution of vortex filaments that make up a vortex sheet. This formula also accounts for the downward velocity field at a specific point, known as point P and the induced velocity along a chord line. The strength of a vortex filament is determined by the circulation of the fluid around a closed loop, and the number of vortex filaments that make up a vortex sheet can vary depending on the specific flow conditions. The downward velocity field at point P is a key factor in understanding the overall flow dynamics, and the induced velocity along a chord line is an important measurement for understanding the total induced velocity within the vortex sheet. The Byatz of Art law is a fundamental principle in fluid dynamics that describes the velocity field caused by a curved vortex filament. It states that the velocity field at a point is proportional to the strength of the vortex element and inversely proportional to the distance between the point and the vortex element and it is perpendicular to the plane containing the vortex element and the point. The Byatz of Art law is a mathematical formula that describes the strength and direction of the vortex filament at a given point. It can be used to calculate the velocity and pressure of a fluid flow and to predict the behavior of vortices in fluids. The Byatz of Art law to a general result of potential theory the law is similar to that of electromagnetic field induced by electrical currents. It can be represented by the following formula. dV is equal to gamma divided by 4 times pi times dL cross R divided by R cubed. Where dL is a small segment of the vortex filament, R is the position vector of point P relative to the segment and gamma is the strength of the filament. Let us apply the Byatz of Art law to a straight vortex filament of infinite length, as shown on the video. The strength of the filament is gamma. The velocity induced at point P by the directed segment of the vortex filament dL is given by B is equal to integral from negative infinity to infinity of the gamma divided by the 4 times pi times dL cross R divided by R cubed, where R is the position vector of point P relative to the filament. The magnitude of the velocity, velocity is equals to absolute value of velocity, is given by V is equal to gamma divided by 4 times pi times integral from negative infinity to infinity of the DL times R times sine theta are divided by R squared. Rearranging and then the equation is 
V is equal to gamma divided by 4 times pi times integral from negative infinity to infinity of sin theta divided by r squared times dl. Appling the Biot Savart law to a straight vortex filament of infinite length. Let H be the perpendicular distance from point then from the geometry shown in video. Velocity is equal to gamma divided by, by 4 times pi times h times integral from 0 to pi of sin theta times d theta. The velocity induced at a given point p by an infinite. Velocity is equal to gamma divided by 4 times pi times h for full or infinite filament from 0 to pi. Straight vortex filament at a perpendicular distance h from p is simply gamma divided by 2 times pi times h. which is precisely for a point vortex in two-dimensional flow. Four half or semi-infinite filament from pi divided by two to zero. Recall magnitude of velocity. Velocity is equals to absolute value of velocity. Velocity is equal to gamma divided by four times pi times h times integral from pi divided by two to zero of sin theta times d theta. The velocity induced direction is downward semi-infinite filament. Straight vortex filament at a perpendicular distance h from p is simply gamma divided by 4 times pi times h. Vortex Theorem. Helmholtz Theorem is a mathematical principle that describes the behavior of vortices in fluids. Hermann von Helmholtz was the first to make use of the vortex filament concept in the analysis of inviscid, incompressible flow. It states that the circulation around a vortex filament is constant, meaning that the fluid flow around the vortex filament is always the same, regardless of the fluid's velocity or pressure. The represented by the following formula, Integral of gamma of r times ds is equals to constant. Where gamma of r 
is the circulation around the vortex line and ds is an infinitesimal element of the vortex line a vortex filament cannot end in a fluid it must extend to the boundaries of the fluid which can be positive or negative infinity or form a closed path finally let us introduce the concept of lift distribution along the span of a finite wing. Most finite wings have a variable chord, with the exception of a simple rectangular wing. Also, many wings are geometrically twisted so that alpha is different at different spanwise locations, so-called geometric twist. If the tip is at alpha lower than the root, the wing is said to have washout. If the tip is at a higher alpha than the root, the wing has wash in. In addition, the wings on a number of modern airplanes have different airfoil sections along the span, with different values of L is equals to zero. This is called aerodynamic twist. Therefore, there is a distribution of lift per unit span along the wing. Lift per unit span is equals to lift per unit span at arbitrary location of Y. We wish to calculate the induced drag, the total lift, and the lift distribution for a finite wing. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a better understand about the concepts of the vortex filament, the Bayer-Savart law, and Helmholtz theorem, and how they impact the behavior of vortices in fluids. If you have any questions or feedback about the video, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'll be happy to hear from you. Please don't forget subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.